Hey, it's Pierre. So I've got a review today of three unsquashable squash rackets. This is a brand that's been around for a while. Jahangir Khan used to play with this brand back in the day. I think maybe he helped start it. I'm not really sure. A lot of their marketing is based around uh, him and they have seem to have relaunched it in the last couple of years. They signed a bunch of pros, James Wilstrop, Sarah Jane Perry. Um, this frame I think is also used by Richie Fallows and uh, Joel Macon and others. They have different frame shapes, but uh, these three are all a teardrop variety and they're all the same mold. Um, thanks by the way to Larry from Squash Unlimited for sending me these frames to review for everybody. These are teardrop style and they're all you'll recognize them basically as uh, very similar to the old Carboflex, Technofiber Carboflex mold from a couple generations ago. And they've created a number of different varieties, both uh, stylistically here. You've got the, they all, I think they all look, I, I like the way this looks, uh, but I've had sort of people have mixed reviews on how they feel about this, but they basically taken a black frame and changed the, the lettering. Um, we've got unsquashable here on the, uh, uh, on the frame and this is the Jahangir Khan version so it's in green and black it says unsquashable on the inside there and on the outer part of the frame this is the Jahangir Khan uh, autograph show you this part there you go there's Jahangir there he is there's the Jahangir Khan 555 which is represents uh, that number is a number of I think his consecutive win streak so that's what this is named after and then we've got the James Wilstrop autograph which is orange and black and here we've got James's uh, signature there and on the side you've got James Wilstrop I don't have the uh, I think Sarah Jane Perry has an autograph and I forget who else, I don't have that one, but uh, it's a similar similar frame, I'm pretty sure. And this one's the Y-Tech Pro. Actually, a lot of the pros were using this before they got their signature versions, but it, it's pretty much the same racket. And actually, Larry said that um, the Wheelstrap one was more of a stiffer flex as compared to these two, which were kind of medium uh, flex. Although in my, in my testing, they all kind of, on my uh, racket stiffness testing they all came in very close uh, in fact this one came in at 140 Hertz uh, Jahangir was 138 and interestingly James Wilstrop was at 132 which was lower and I think that's lower uh, and um, on that on that scale anyway the, the the quirk of it is is that the strings on this were very tight, the factory strings. You'll, you'll notice uh, these two have got the factory strings still in them. This one was too tight and I actually restrung it myself with some, uh, with some different string. And once I did that, I restrung it at 27, I think, 27 pounds. And once I did that, the stiffness of this racket came out to 136, which is pretty much the same as, as the other two rackets. The all-in weight on these rackets was very similar. Uh, we had both of these two rackets were oh, 155 grams all-in, and the Wilstrop one was 153 grams all-in, so pretty much the same. And the balance of all three was quite light, head light. Uh, 34 and a half on all of them, except for the Wilstrop was, was Almost, I, I wrote down 34 and a quarter just because I, I couldn't decide between uh, 34 and a half and 34. So they're basically all quite, um, quite head light in addition to uh, being um, fairly light as well in the 155 gram range. So honestly, they played, they played very similarly. The one that I preferred for reasons I don't really understand it could have been the stringing was was a little different on this at least when I tried them all um, with this with the factory strings my preference was for the Y-Tech Pro 
but um, but generally speaking, uh, they were all they're all quality frames. This is a proven shape, and Unsquashable has um, has done their bit to take that and make autograph brackets and kind of come out with something that's a that's a crowd pleaser and also. Uh, has a lot of exposure amongst the pros. So, and they also have other frames. They have traditional shapes as well, which I haven't got um, with me today. But uh, they've got a bunch of other rackets that they uh, that they're producing, and they're coming out with with new ones and a whole bunch of other components to their to their relaunched racket line, including luggage and a whole bunch of other things. So, definitely check it out. Um, so, on the whole, again, uh, pleased with these. I thought they were uh, I thought they're good quality rackets. And uh, and I like the uh, I like the styling, and you get to uh, check out some of your favorite pros uh, signature rackets as well. These are the unsquashable squash rackets.